Hi, my name is Phil Lagan. I'm with TSI Supercool. Supercool is an ISO certified manufacturer of automotive air conditioning chemicals. We provide a complete automotive air conditioning maintenance program to the automotive aftermarket. And today I want to talk to you specifically about the lubricant side of that, okay? And when we, when we talk about lubricants, we know we're going to a kind of a, a diverse audience. And so we like to uh, take our, uh, our audience through a basic air conditioning system, the operation of a basic automotive air conditioning system. And the, the goal here is to kind of define the components and how the system works, how the lubricant and the refrigerant flow through that system. And having said that, let's go ahead and get started. Let's take a look at the basic automotive air conditioning system. Okay, so let's talk about a basic automotive air conditioning system. What you see on your screen in front of you is our training vehicle, and we use this in all of our AC sales training and all the different training we do out in the field. And what you see circled is the compressor, and you can see we're going to talk briefly about each of these components. What well, we want to make sure you do that you have a basic understanding of an automotive air conditioning system and the components and what function each of those serve and kind of how the whole system works. We know that this typically would go to a diverse audience of people, some much more uh, trained on air conditioning than others, but we really want them to understand that an automotive air conditioning system really is not that complicated. We want them to understand how it works. Now keep in mind as you look at this diagram that the hoses in blue indicate low pressure side of the system, the hoses in red indicate the high pressure side of the system. The arrows that you see actually indicate the direction of the flow in the system. It's also important to note that the refrigerant and the lubricant in an automotive air conditioning system are miscible. In other words, they mix together, they flow through the system together. If you're leaking refrigerant, you're leaking lubricant. The primary function of the lubricant in an automotive air conditioning system is to lubricate the compressor. So if you're losing lubricant, then you're, you're risking damaging that compressor. Now let's take a look at the evaporator. So let's talk about the evaporator, but, but quickly prior to that, let's take a quick look at the orifice tube or in a lot of the newer vehicles you're going to have an expansion device okay you see on your screen now you see the circle around it and basically what that component is doing is it's metering the flow refrigerant into the evaporator so it really plays a critical role and uh, anytime you're replacing a compressor in a system you're going to replace the orifice tube if it's an orifice tube system if it's an expansion device you're either going to service it and then uh, put it back in or you're going to replace that so now, as we look at the evaporator, the evaporator does two things, okay? First of all, it's actually pulling heat out of the cabin. So when you get in your car on a hot day and you kick on that air conditioning system, that evaporator is actually pulling the heat out of that cabin. You'll also notice on those hot days that if you crack your windows and let them down, you're letting that heat out, and we all kind of do that instinctively, but you're letting that heat out of your vehicle, and what it's doing is that's less heat that your AC system is going to have to pull out, and it does help your car to cool down a little bit quicker. So it's, you're pulling heat out of the system, and then you're also blowing cold air in. You'll also notice that it's up on the firewall of the vehicle, so when it needs to be replaced, it can be an expensive repair job. So let's take a look at the accumulator receiver dryer. Okay, so let's talk about the accumulator. The accumulator is also referred to as the receiver dryer. And as the refrigerant and the lubricant flow from the evaporator through the system as they're heading back into the compressor, they're going to pass through the receiver dryer. And its primary function is that if there's any moisture in that system, to take that moisture out. And how, the way that it does that is there's actually desiccant crystals inside the receiver dryer and as it passes through they absorb any moisture in the system and take that, that out. Now it's important to note here that anytime you're changing a compressor you always want to change your receiver dryer. The desiccant crystals they have an absorption level and it's kind of like a sponge that sits on your sink at home. Once that sponge is full of water it's not going to pick up any more water. So when the desiccant crystals uh, have absorbed a lot of moisture, they get to a point where they're not going to absorb any more moisture. So when that system's open, you want to be replacing this component. Now, as it's, it's pulled through the system, through the compressor, it's now flowing into the condenser. 
All right, and the primary function of the condenser is that heat we talked about that the, you're pulling out of the cabin in the evaporator. That heat is being dispensed out into the atmosphere through the condenser. So now if you take a look at it, the whole system in front of you now, you've got the compressor, makes it all go. You've got, it's, it's like a racetrack. It's just constantly flowing through there. The refrigerant and the lubricant are miscible. They mix together. If you're leaking refrigerant, you're leaking oil. Okay, so you're flowing through. You've got the orifice tube and the uh, expansion device that are uh, controlling the flow of refrigerant into the evaporator. Hot air being pulled out, cold air being uh, blown in. That's being pulled through, goes through the receiver dryer. The, the desk and bag is going to take any moisture out of the system. That heat continues to be pulled through the system into the condenser, dispensed out through the condenser, and it's just running on this constant cycle. So we've taken a look at an automotive air conditioning components and how they work and the critical role that lubricants play in that. So let's talk about the lubricants now because it's really critical that you use the proper lubricant, the proper viscosity in the system.